Dr. Kawasaki, you've been our special guest at our Edinburgh Convention. Thank you for coming. Everyone has enjoyed the talks you've given. You've got some great models on display. Perhaps you could talk us through some of them. I have created many different types of roses. This is called the one minute rose. That's because you can fold it in just one minute. You can make it in a minute. How long would a normal person take to make this sort of rose? For those who fold this rose for the first time, it often takes up to one hour. And did you teach that in your class today? I taught this rose in yesterday's class. And how do English folders from the BOS, how do they compare to in Japan, for example? In comparison to the Japanese folders, English folders often fold the Kawasaki rose much more neatly. The Kawasaki rose, of course, has become a famous rose, and some people don't even know that Kawasaki invented it. It's become a special name for that. So it must be now one of the most famous models in origami. So congratulations for that. Thank you very much. You have some other models on display. Can you maybe talk us through some of these? This train, for example, this appears on the cover of one of your books that I think I have. This train is made from lots of different units which are put together. It doesn't include any glue. You can remove certain parts of it. Is that important to you to see a model with no cuts? Or do you feel that's a part of origami discipline that's important in creating a model for you? For me, I prefer not to use glue or to cut the paper, but for beginners, I think it's fine. And amongst these other models, can you maybe talk us through some of the other models you brought with you? For example, the tessellation cubes. This is your area here. <laughs> It was folded from 12 sheets of uh, square paper. And of course, we don't use glue. By combining the papers in this way, it creates a very strong structure. Strong will not fall apart. And can that scale up even bigger? Is that the beginning? And we can make four, nine, and sixteen faces. <laughs> Certainly we can. And what about some of the others? It's nice to see that spiral effect, and you've taken that also from the shell we see here as well. A spiral shell with four corners which spiral together. In a normal shell, the spiral will only have one point, but this has four points which form the spiral. To finish, we turn the point and finish the spiral. But what is the similarity between that shell and the rose? In the talk you gave in London, you described the shell and the rose as two of the early models that you designed. What is the connection? So I was originally thinking of making this top section into the rose and the bottom section into the calyx, into the sepals. But then I saw that it could turn into a shell with four points, so made it into a shell instead. How about these, 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 these most amazing balls? You, you've been requested to make these and you've had to change your plans, especially for the convention. This is one of my favourite pieces that I really like and looks very difficult but is not so difficult in reality. This white section is um, just made from one unit. This is a piece of origami made from six pieces of paper. But again, what is lovely about that model is that you've, you've, you're actually making a curved fold. Mm. And we see that very, very rarely, as most folds are straight, I think. Mm. So I think, congratulations, M much of your work is very innovative and it's presenting new ways of folding and new styles. Uh, thank you very And much. so amongst your models, which would you say is your favourite? 
This is my favourite model out of the ones I have here. This particular structure you can only create using origami. If you tried to create this form in other ways than origami, you probably wouldn't be able to do it. But you can do it very well using origami, which is why I like this model so much. So I don't see there's a huge necessity in making really complicated models, but much, a lot of beauty in simple models. Since you've been in England, or Scotland, and London, did you travel up? Did you, did you make any origami on the train? <laughs> <laughs> I folded for the whole time. And were people interested? A young lad sat near to me and he was always watching me for the whole time. You are a great ambassador for origami and for Japan. <laughs> Have you experienced Scotch whisky since you've been here? <laughs> in my time in Scotland I've uh, bought these three bottles of whisky. This is very special whisky. I hope it'll last a long time and continue to remind you of Scotland. <laughs> Kawasaki, thank you for coming and thank you for your time. <laughs> it's been a great honour to meet you. Thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me to Scotland. I've really enjoyed my time at the convention and, of course, the whisky in Scotland. <laughs> thank you very much. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs>